you need to stop. You need to cease. It's over. You've wasted your time. You already know the writing's on the wall. It's time to put the cards down and finally be a person. I'm just trying to help you. I'm trying to make you a better person. I want to die. Hey there. Hey there and welcome to the video. As you see from the title, it's not hyperbole, all right? It's not exaggeration. It's not even a metaphor. It's not a, it's not a statement that I'm saying as like, oh, hey, it's clickbait. All right, you should click on this video because I'm going to give you, you know, adequate reasons to stop doing magic. It's a direct command. I know, I know, it's sacrilege, especially if you've been a, a level 68 virgin for as long as I have, doing this for 21 years. All right, 21 years of just mixing cards and shuffling and then trying to find new ways to control cards. It's terrible. It's a terrible life to have, okay? And you know what? I'm here to tell you, stop. But I'm also here to tell you why, why you should stop and what are the benefits from stopping? Because believe it or not, there's actually plenty of benefits to stopping magic. Now me and my relationship with my whore that I call magic hasn't necessarily been one of sunshine and roses, all right? I've had periods and dips where I just get burnt out where I realize this is a terrible hobby to have. It's no benefit. All I'm doing is being better at tricks, but becoming a worse person. I'm, I'm becoming isolated, all right? I start to smell. I realize that I'm destroying the rules that I've laid out on my Instagram. If you guys noticed, on my Instagram, I posted a video a while ago that I called how to uh, life hacks for a convention, you know, like rules for a convention. And uh, I broke all my rules. I didn't wash my clothes. I didn't shower as often. I wasn't hygienic, right? And all that is to blame to the magic. I blame the magic for that, all right? Because I was too busy thinking of different ways to control cards to the top of the deck. Hey, how can I get that card in my pocket? How can I get that, that secret selected playing card into my pocket without the spectator realizing it? These are the worries you have as a magician. Say that out loud. Say the effect out loud and you're gonna realize how insignificant magic is. But on a serious note, what I mean by stopping magic is uh, take a break. Take a break, chill out for a little bit. If it's your profession, all right, I understand it's kind of hard for you to take breaks on it, right? But if you're a hobbyist, if you're an amateur, if you're somebody that doesn't necessarily financially depend on doing tricks, take a break, all right? Take a chill pill. You're gonna see that um, if you just wait a month without picking up a deck of cards, without thinking magic, you're gonna come back to it renewed, refreshed. You're gonna come back probably smelling better. Maybe, maybe, God hope, with the benefit of maybe having touched an actual vagina. But sometimes the best way to improve on a subject is to step away from it. Step away from it and just take a little bit of a break from it, all right? It's the same thing with relationships, okay? If you happen to get into a relationship with a, a ridiculous individual, sometimes the best way is to just murder that bitch, all right? And hide her body underneath your house. And when the neighbors complain about the stench, just say, oh, I guess something must have died there. A gross, disgusting, decrepit bitch must have died under there. And then you do 25 to life and you know what? You're better off with it. You get three hot meals a day. You're there working out. You look jacked, all right? Yeah, you're gonna get a lot of ass pussy, all right? But you know what? That's uh, what government funded jails do to you. So treat magic like that relationship where you hide the body underneath your house. Take a little break every once in a while, all right? I'm not saying to stop entirely. I know that's a clickbait title, all right? Obviously I haven't stopped. It's been a drug for 21 years. I've been unfortunately hooked on a stupid piece of shit hobby for uh, the better part of almost two decades at this point. I wanna just shoot up the smallest <laughs> But I've stopped. And when I stopped magic for maybe a month, two months, I think it was three months, the maximum amount of time that I just didn't pick up a deck, I didn't think of anything. I became better, I became more creative. When I got back to it, I had a, a plethora of ideas. I decided, hey man, you know what? This is the best thing I've ever done taking a break away from it, stopping doing it for a little while. I, I came up with so many tricks on my own because I didn't think of magic. I didn't have magic on YouTube. I wasn't watching compilations with Asians making coins disappear. And you wonder how the, f how'd you shoot that coin in your hand so fast, huh? You're disappointing your parents because you're not a doctor, but you have the ability to shoot coins in your hand really fast. So it takes your mind off of it. It takes your mind off of magic. And then it also lets you develop as an individual. All right. It lets you decide to focus back on yourself. And that's always a good thing because then you start, you know, doing push-ups. You start getting better as a person, as opposed to as a magician, which is very important to the magic, believe it or not. So taking a break, stepping away really helped me out. It really 
benefited my creativity, it really improved my affection for magic, dare I say, even though I, I fucking despise this art and I hate magicians and you guys should stop calling yourselves uh, fucking other terms, all right, for magician. I don't know how many times I've seen this shit. A, a visual deceiver? What the fuck is a visual deceiver? Really? Huh? Professional opportunist? What does that even mean? What does that even mean? You, you professionally opportune? What? My favorite one is a visual storyteller. Could you imagine being hired as a, as a visual storyteller for a kid's party without them having looked up your name in the registry? I know this is going to seem like sacrilege to some people. I know it's going to seem like I'm just being cynical. Oh, look, it's Piggy being cynical. He's always hating magic, but look, look at what he does. No, I'm, I'm, it's, a serious, it's a serious thing that you should do. You should take a break. You should dedicate some time away from magic. All right, focus on another hobby. Maybe take a piano, all right? Maybe take up something healthy like jogging. It's going to benefit you in the long run, and you can always come back. I'm not saying to stop permanently, all right? So don't get your... Um, your tidy whities all right, and if not, I know you're wearing tidy whities Also, it goes without saying, if you take a break from magic, don't, don't watch videos with magic. Try to step away from magic as a whole. Try not to touch cards, try not to touch coins, try not to touch magic wands or other stuff that magicians buy and purchase. Coin purses, coin purses. That's gonna be another rant for a video when it comes to magicians busting out coin purses. It's the year 2020. We have chips being implanted in people's bodies. We have cell phones and people are still using coin purses to take out the coins, you make it disappear. And then, oh, look at the coin purse, the coins back in the coin purse. If you've ever gotten laid, after doing a trick that involves a coin purse, please leave, leave the comment below. Leave a comment below saying your story because you should have a statue made of you. You should have a, you should have a religion made after you if you've gotten laid after doing a coin purse trick, after taking a coin out of a coin purse. Look at the term, coin purse. I can't even fucking concentrate right now because I'm so angry at magicians that use coin purses. You know who you are. Stop it. All right? Stop it. Stop doing magic. All right, that's the point of this video. I think I've rambled long enough. Take a little break, all right? Don't look at videos. Don't look at uh, Instagram, don't look at Twitter, don't look at YouTube, all right? Don't look at my tutorials, all right? Look what I'm saying, I'm saying don't look at my tutorials, all right? Don't look at my Pig Cake Magic Academy for a month, all right? The Pig Cake Magic Academy where I drop two videos every single week, going over card, going over coin stuff, going over everything that you need to know to become the best magician you could be. Starts off with such basics as holding a deck of cards, picking your deck of cards, all right? to such uh, hardships like longitudinal palms, like longitudinal palms, that's what we get to. So it's a, quite a stretch, two videos every single week, over 300 videos already. That's the $5 tier. If you join the dollar tier, you get two tutorials every single week. Two tutorials that I don't post anywhere else. It's just exclusive to that. So imagine if you're part of the academy, not only do you get the two tutorials, you also get two actual lessons based on card or coin work. What's that? That's like uh, four videos a week. And if you join the Mentalism Academy, that's $10 a month. You get Mentalism Tricks. That's an additional video. That's five videos a week that are posted nowhere else. Over 300 videos already. I'm sure it's more than 300 at this point, but it's just a tagline that I've been saying over and over again. So it's stuck in my fucking head. But join it up. Check it out. Rave reviews all around. And uh, if you want a little bit more of a serious piggy, if you want a little bit more of a down-to-earth piggy where I just, you know, I'm very serious about my craft, check it out. Because it's definitely different than um, what you're getting here as people have noted. So to summarize this video, take a little break, step away from it, and you're gonna see that it's gonna benefit you in the end. So thank you. Make sure to do all the things that people do when it comes to videos. I'm going to probably, um, I don't know what I'm gonna to do today, honestly, but I need to lose weight. I need to lose weight. Um, so I'm gonna jog because I hate my body. Um, there's no rap at the end of this one, by the way. There's no freestyle because uh, I'm still working on my next track. If you guys have noticed, I hate to break the fucking little thing here, but uh, I've, I've dropped little raps at the end of each video. Uh, my first track was Pigster for Columbus. So that if you go as far back as a couple weeks, you're gonna see the uh, lyrics to Pigster for Columbus as a whole. And then my next track, I believe was uh, In The Cut. That's the other song. And then the other um, more recent one was called Dominoes. So right now I'm working on my fourth track known as um, Cheesecake Factory. So that's gonna be my fourth track and what would eventually be a mixtape that your boy's gonna release. So keep, keep that in mind.
Papa John Stotty stained with marinara. CSI blots on an apron to find my Cinderella. Vampires turn to dust with that garlic breath. Pepperoncini dropping sauce on her titty breast. Sex on a pizza till the cheese is curdled. Minimum wage bitches are fucking fertile. One nut catch me with nine lives. Stroke game sounds like high fives. Heat winning got my pizza half off. No more kids, better jack off.